Just about Good evening. Uh, at this point, we're about halfway through the storm, and I would say that we're holding our own. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is, is that the worst is still to come. The wind started picking up a few hours ago and are likely to intensify and stay pretty strong uh, through tomorrow morning. Uh, wind gusts are really starting to pick up, measuring as high as approximately 80 miles per hour in New London. Uh, wind gusts uh, are, are obviously one of the factors in forcing more water uh, into Long Island Sound as well. As a result, we are expecting power outages uh, are, as we, we are expecting uh, uh, power outages to increase. Currently at this hour, we have approximately 200,000 customers without power. Uh, due to the higher than expected winds, southeastern Connecticut seems to be the most heavily impacted, um, but although we have uh, outages throughout the state. Uh, as the utility companies have been making clear, uh, they can't begin restoration efforts until the, the sustained winds drop before drop lower than 40 miles an hour. If you lose your power, if you've lost your power, you are likely to be without power for an extended period of time. Uh, and if, even if you haven't lost your power, uh, if it goes and when it goes, it's going to be out for a long period of time. Uh, we have, at, uh, at last count, approximately 40 road closings, half because of flooding. Uh, half because of downed trees. There are uh, also trees down on the Merritt Parkway uh, closer to the New York border, uh, and this has become a problem uh, most recently. I've made clear to utility companies uh, something uh, that they already know. Uh, everyone is watching to see how they perform. They certainly seem to have been better prepared in advance of the storm. I've told them that I expect their after storm performance to be a lot better than it was uh, last year. Now let's talk about what remains uh, as Connecticut's most serious problem, flooding. The high tide that will occur later tonight in Long Island, combined with the three that came before it, and the fact that tides are not receding properly, this combination leaves us vulnerable to record flooding uh, at points all along the way from Greenwich to Stonington. But this is especially true from Greenwich uh, through East Haven. Uh, th uh, this will surely cause us problems with utility substations, and that will mean many more power outages. In fact, uh, sometime in the next half hour uh, or so, United Illuminating will be de-energizing two substations in Bridgeport. This action alone will result in approximately 52,000 customers losing power, 35,000 of those in Bridgeport, and the rest scattered in Fairfield, Stratford, Trumbull, and Shelton. Uh, they have to do uh, this depowering uh, because if the substations flood while they're energized, the results could be catastrophic, uh, which would take weeks to repair. The hope is that by uh, de-energizing uh, before the potential flood, uh, we'll make the restoration efforts uh, in the area more smooth uh, and will uh, be affected far more quickly. As soon as we were informed of this, uh, that this would be happening, we spoke to mayor, the mayor of Bridgeport, uh, Mr. Finch. Uh, and his top officials, and informed them that we would make available to him any state ass assets we could, including personnel, to help mitigate the impact of this action. Uh, that assistance is underway. The flooding uh, also will almost certainly affect public and private water supplies, including wells, so please monitor local alerts closely. <coughs> Uh, the state of Connecticut, uh, we in the state of Connecticut uh, are doing everything we possibly can to mitigate the damages this storm is causing, and we're helping wherever we can. <coughs> Excuse me. Our state agencies are in constant touch with our cities and towns uh, uh, and with our first response, responders. We have done uh, two municipal briefings, uh, one at 3 o'clock for all waterfront communities, a second one at 4 uh, o'clock uh, that covered uh, uh, all of the communities. So far, uh, I think everyone is performing well and, uh, and uh, certainly performing as expected. It seems as if most people have heeded the warnings we issued this morning to stay off the roads and stay home. I urge everyone to continue to do this until uh, the storm passes sometime tomorrow. The truck ban is still in effect, and unless your life depends on your leaving your home, then don't. I've decided to wait until later uh, this evening to decide whether to ask some or all state employees to report to work uh, tomorrow. I expect my office to put out a press release once the decision is made, probably around 10 o'clock tonight. A few reminders about uh, other warnings that uh, people need to hear. If you have a generator, use it correctly. Do not endanger yourself or line workers. 
Uh, if you have to use candles, please do so carefully. Uh, if not, uh, um, they uh, pose a substantial fire hazard uh, to you and any adjoining homeowners. Remember that uh, flood water can be contaminated, so don't mess uh, around with it. Um, uh, if your drinking water becomes compromised, make sure you boil the water before you use it. Uh, remember that carbon monoxide poisoning is a real issue, so be smart about that as well. We will be watching the tides very closely over the next few hours, and I again remind people who live near bodies of water that rise when the sound rises to be alert. Uh, while the worst is yet to come, I am confident that Connecticut is up to the challenge. Uh, thanks to uh, uh, everyone who's working to help us get through this. Uh, thank you uh, to the people of Connecticut who are hunkering down and hanging in there uh, through this particularly rough uh, and tough night. Uh, please, everyone, stay safe. And with that, I'll take some questions. Is it your anticipation and those uh, at the DEP that the flooding will be at the Category 4 uh, hurricane level in western Long Island Sound? Uh, we're still planning for that. Yeah. Which means all the colored areas on those maps that we've seen have the potential to flood tonight at, with the high tide. Well, yes, that, that, that's correct. That's the event we're still planning. Um, uh, we, you know, uh, the st st storm has moved differently than we thought, um, but we're not, uh, we're not lessening uh, those numbers um, uh, uh, throughout the sound. I think wave actions are going to be very um, uh, impactful, particularly in the uh, New London, uh, Stonington part of the state where these uh, uh, really massive winds are, are coming uh, ashore uh, from the ocean. Uh, and uh, we think that's pushing more water down the sound. As I refer referenced, it's about 52,000 in total, 35,000 in Bridgeport, the remainder uh, uh, scattered in the surrounding towns. And just your understanding that this has never uh, happened, that they've never had to shut these substations? No, they, uh, they actually shut the substations down um, in, uh, in reaction to Irene. Uh, this will probably be a longer shutdown. It's starting earlier because the water is already higher. Uh, than it was at the beginning of Irene, and obviously we have to, they'll, they'll have to wait till uh, any threat of uh, uh, flooding uh, dissipates. So we're probably, ta and I'm sure they'll, they'll address this, but we're probably talking about a period of time that would extend into the morning. What about the wind? Uh, we were watching some forecasts before we came over here that were suggesting because of the path that the storm is taking that the winds uh, won't be necessarily as high as we thought, but they'll still be dangerous. You know, we're, we're seeing winds uh, uh, gusting at 80 miles an hour. Uh, that's about where we expected. Uh, uh, and we were watching some winds move it. And this is in particularly the area of uh, Stonington, New London, um, and the like. Uh, so I don't think we're out of the, um, uh, out of the woods on that one uh, yet. They'll probably be shorter in duration. Uh, than we had thought. We thought these highest winds uh, initially uh, would last till about 3 a.m. Uh, we believe that, that will, these highest winds will end earlier than that, uh, and the earlier they, win, uh, they end, uh, the better for uh, all of us. Um, it, you know, we're, we're looking at models that, that start to see a, a, a kind of an easing off as early as 10 o'clock. Uh, that probably doesn't do a whole lot uh, for uh, 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 our flooding situation since uh, high tide in the New London area is at 10 o'clock. How difficult will it be to maneuver in the dark to, for some of the crews? Uh, I mean, obviously, these winds and, and flooding at night? Re you know, electrical recovery, as I uh, mentioned, uh, really can't uh, take place in winds that are sustained over 40 miles an hour. Um, and uh, with respect to uh, evacuations, we're beyond that point uh, for uh, most of the state. So uh, uh, people are pretty much uh, stuck where they are right now. If they didn't heed our warnings previously, uh, they're going to have, in all likelihood, they'll have to ride this out. So these historic flood levels occur around midnight tonight in the Western Sound. The Western River. Sound. Uh, what's the estimation of how long it'll take? for the sound to go back to normal? To get, to get I, I think that's, uh, you know, um, easily a day or a day and a half to get back to normal, uh, to get uh, below uh, the flood. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think we're talking, uh, uh, it, you know, I don't, I don't have Tuesday, the exact, Wednesday. yeah, I, I think late Tuesday, Wednesday, we would, we would get out of, um, um, uh, we'd be at high water, but we wouldn't be at flooding. Well, actually, I... Was, um, was acting a little differently than you had it, it moves... 
It, it moved much more rapidly. At one point, uh, uh, this storm was moving at about 14 miles. By midday, uh, its speed had jumped to 28 miles. So landfall that was expected in New Jersey at 10 p.m. tonight uh, is actually occurring pretty much as we're speaking or, or within the next hour. That, that's the difference. Um, and trying to make judgments on how that will or will not uh, impact, um, uh, uh, the, I, I, we don't think it's going to, at this point, we're not thinking it's going to have a great uh, amount of imp impact. Uh, you know, if we catch a break, maybe we uh, save some number of inches um, uh, from um, a record. Since you said that the worst is yet to come, and obviously there's a lot of problems on the shoreline, do, do you feel in any way with the lower rainfall and, and the less problems in the Hartford area, for example, that the state has dodged a bullet in any way, or do you not feel that the, way? The, the rainfall, we knew that we, uh, about 48 hours ago, um, with uh, landfall expected uh, in New Jersey, we realized that we would not be on the uh, higher rain side of this, at least as the initial storm moves inland. Um, what happens after that and, and what currents it catches uh, remain to be seen, whether we'll see rain later in the storm or over the next few days. But we knew 48 hours uh, ago that uh, as opposed to our 7 to 14 inches that we were going to be on the low side just because of where we were with respect to uh, expected uh, landfall. Um, uh, with respect to the winds, uh, we were on the losing side. Um, and uh, um, that has been our concern, that, uh, that uh, in combination with the uh, full moon tides um, uh, and, the, uh, uh, and the surge that a storm of this size uh, produces. Those are the things that we'll know a lot more about by 1230 tonight than we do currently. Uh, you know, I, I think that remains uh, uh, an open question. I think our current uh, 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 thought is that I wouldn't see you again until tomorrow. Uh, on the other hand, if there are uh, circumstances that dictate, we'll give you notice. Okay, one last last question. Giving reports of coastal damage to homes or, or other buildings. Uh, it, um, uh, we, in, in our conversation with um, municipal officials, waterfront municipal officials. Uh, it is evident that a number of commercial buildings have been flooded. Uh, I've seen them on TV, um, uh, and we expect that number to increase uh, significantly tonight. Um, uh, how significant remains to be seen. Uh, as far as buildings washing away, we have not, we did not see that uh, in, in the first high water, nor did we expect it. So, you know, uh, that, that, that was living uh, within uh, what we had projected. What we're most fearful about is, is what we're facing tonight. We've been saying that for the better part of three days, and, and the sooner we get uh, past high tide tonight, uh, uh, the sooner we'll know what the results of this storm are. We are still planning, and I think every sh everyone should be on a personal basis planning for the worst and hoping for the best.